about as you guys can see in the title we are talking all things wellness mental health staying grounded in your 30s and part of that for me is tapping into my inner self and my inner child so at the top of this year one of my goals was to make sure that i got into therapy this year i've tried several years in the past but i just couldn't get connected with that person that truly got me and understood what i wanted to do but i was able to do that this year with better help so shout out to better help for sponsoring this portion of today's video I've been using BetterHelp for about a month now and it's truly been helping me to kind of tap into who it is that I want to be in this next phase of my life. I have been really battling with some identity issues post leaving education. If you guys did not know, I was a high school science teacher for nine and a half, almost 10 years. I decided to make the big jump and transition out of that profession and I was extremely nervous, extremely paranoid, but I knew through much prayer that it was time for me to jump. So after jumping from that career, I've kind of been trying to find my footing in what it is that I wanted to do after that. Teaching was my passion for so long, and I'm the type of person I have to love and be invested in what I'm doing. And so through BetterHelp, I've been able to have conversations around my identity, what I want my future higher self to look like, and it has been so beneficial to me. I utilize the BetterHelp app in order to set up my sessions. One of my favorite features within the app is the journal portion. So I'm a big journaler anyways, but when I seen that BetterHelp had that option, I was a little bit intimidated by it, right? Because journaling is a very intimate type of situation. So you can journal within the app just so that you can have kind of a running diary, so to speak. But if you choose to, you can send over your journal entry to your therapist. And I use that feature for the first time. And I really, really like that feature. I was very nervous because again, it's a very intimate thing. Your journaling sessions are something that does not necessarily come out in your normal conversation. So being able to send that over has been amazing. So it is currently 1143. Today's session starts at 1215. So I plan on just going outside, getting a nice breeze and having my call outside. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself prepared and I will see you all once we get into the session. Today's session was a success. And if you're interested in BetterHelp, make sure you utilize the link on the screen to get 10% off of your first month. Remember, it is okay to ask for help and it is okay to want to feel better. BetterHelp is here to support you on your journey to a healthier, happier life. And I am so better for it. Now that my 
my journaling session is complete and I'm feeling good, I'm gonna take the rest of the day to do some self-care type of things, just kind of sit with myself, figure out what it is that I need, and just do some small things that makes me happy. So if you know me, you know we're about to go thrifting. So I am trying not to have that overconsumption thing. So I'm going to stay away from my favorite thrift store because I don't need another clothing item. So I'm actually going to be headed to Fur Kids Thrift Store. This thrift store is a thrift store that I love to frequent when I am looking for home decor, glassware, and vintage jewelry. So in a few vlogs back, I did go to this um, antique expo and I really enjoyed the jewelry that was there. So I'm gonna head to Fur Kids to see if I can find any cute goodies there. But again, mostly this is just for me to have a nice intimate outing with myself, kind of solo date style, and just take myself to some of my favorite places without over consuming. So I'm probably also going to go to Tropical Smoothie. I did have breakfast this morning, so I just need something a little bit light um, while I'm running around on my errands. Oh, I didn't show you guys my outfit. Let me show you guys my fit. This is my like chilling around the house outfit. I picked this up from Nasty Gal. This two piece set was only $12. Come here, $12 and 50 cent. So good. So I got this color and I got the yellow color. I love the shorts. The shorts are A1. The shorts will be worn all throughout spring and summer. The top, I love like the thought process behind like a boxy oversized top, but it is kind of thin and it doesn't really match the texture of the shorts. So this is more of, as I told you guys before, an inside of the house set, unless I change out the top or put a nice kind of maybe button up or a jacket over the top. The sun is out. It is a beautiful day. So it's perfect for me to have my self care outing day. However, it's very windy and it's kind of an illusion. So it's really not warm outside. I think it's probably about you no know, high 50s, almost 60. So I'm gonna change out of this look, even though it is super cozy. It's so cozy. I slick just wanna stay in the house in this. But let's head out. All right, y'all. So we have made it into the car. I love my fit. I quickly threw it together. I didn't have time to do an OOTD because I'm running out of time. I have to be back at the house by about 3.45 to get my son off the bus. So the top is um, a Calvin Klein denim top. I got this last year. The last time I checked, it was sold out, but I will check again for you guys. On the bottom, I have these white cargos that I got from Fashion Nova. I believe these are still available. Um, I will link them down below if they are. And then my shoes are my Cognac Brown Steve Maddens. These sunglasses are old. I believe these are from Sunglass Spot. And then the bag is just this orange Teddy Blake bag that I love this time of the year. So I'm feeling cute and I'm ready for my self-care outing. Now, let me tell y'all, girl, why are we going so slow? Um... Okay, Shanika, relax and ride the wave. But anywho, so let me tell y'all, I almost stayed in my cute little house set and just watched Living Single. But I said, Shanika, you can sit in this house set and watch Living Single at any time. You need to get out of this house. You need to do something for you. And then my wife guilt, mom guilt started kicking in. I was like, so you're going to go have a whole day just for you? And then the other part of myself said, you damn right. Yes, you are going to go have a whole day just for you. Spend a little coin just for you. You're just going to come down the wrong side of the road, huh? Anywho. Yeah, so you're going to do something for you. So I am currently pulling up at, guess where, y'all? Guess where I have been hinting at every vlog that I wanted to pull up to, but... Every time when I think about it, I was like, that's excessive, that's too much. You've got food at home, but not today, girl. We going to Juicy Crab. So I am pulling up to Juicy Crab. I'm about to have 
lunch super excited about it and then instead of going to the other side of town to fur kids thrift store i am going to go ahead and head to revive which is actually right beside um juicy crab now i still want to stick with the idea of not doing any over consumption so even though we are taking care of ourselves, we're doing things that we want to do, we are still going to be responsible and do those things on a budget. So when I go into Revive, I'm strategically looking for some men's loafers, like some vintage leather, well patinaed loafer. And so we will look at those once I get out. Loafers are heavily trending this season, but I don't want any new ones. I want some really old men's worn looking one so we'll look at that once we leave revive but anywho girl let's head into juicy crab crab was so so good and girl i don't know why i decided to be super brave and eat juicy crab with white pants like oh my god not a good decision but i normally eat like a whole toddler and today i didn't get anything on me so i'm really excited about that of course my lip is off and i was really feeling my lip combo today i've been trying to find like the perfect lip combo with what I have already in my makeup bag. So I talked to you guys earlier about not wanting to do the whole over consumption thing. It's been taking everything in me not to repeat this girl's lip combo. And I said to myself, Shanika, after her lip combo, you're gonna see two to three more that you are obsessed with. You cannot <laughs> always go and buy the exact items every time. So what you need to do, you need to save them. You need to look at the color combo. You need to look at the consistency. Is it a matte? It is a satin? Is it a gloss? So forth and so on. So I was able to um, find like a perfect combo for me in my makeup um and my makeup organizer that I already had, I think I ended up using like a ColourPop, like it was like a satin finish for like a lip liner. And then I ended up using like some NYX, um, like in NYX suede on the middle. And I just topped it off with like an LA Girl lip gloss. Super, super cute. Um, I'll show it to you guys when I get home. 
again, not for you guys to go and buy the exact same thing. If you want to, hey, it's your world, girl. But more so for you to see like the color combination. So if you have skin tone similar to mine, you can match that. But what I just applied here in the car, I keep this in the car with me. And it's this Ruby Kisses Lip Oil, Hydrating Lip Oil Treatment. I love this stuff. You can get this at like um, the hair store. I don't know if your local hair store will have it. I don't see this being anywhere outside of the hair store. Um, I don't even know anyone else who carries Ruby Kisses. But again, this is what it looks like. And it is a really, really good lip treatment. And again, I just leave it in the car for when I need to reapply. But anywho, girl, we've had our lunch. I came back in the car because Revive is right beside um, Juicy Crab. But I came back in, talked to you guys, reapply my lip. Oh, and to get some water. I have been loving, girl, loving my Hydro Jug. It is so cute. And this little flip-up straw, next level, okay? Next level. I won't say Stanley who just yet. But this has already become my favorite. Now, you might say, girl, would you say that if your Stanley was in the house and not stuck at the hair shop? Yes. Yes, I would. Because this honeydew color, this collapsible straw, this screw-on lid. Okay, there's water. You see, you see my ice? First off, I left this in the car. Okay? You see how bright it is out here. There's ice still in here. All right, I'm going to make sure the lid is on tight. Look at this. Do you see water leaking? Do you see water coming out? I know you hear it. Baby, this is why? This is why I switched over. Look at all the water in there that didn't come out. Hmm. I'm telling you, girls, get you a hydro jug. And you, 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 you'll thank me later. There's so many different cute color combinations. Again, I love this one. I've been loving color lately, but just in accessories. So I'm still a very neutral girl at heart, hence my denim and white today. But I love pops of color like my bag and my drink or my cup. Super cute. Anywho, girl, let's head into Revive and hopefully we can find some grandpa loafers. Mm. that food was good i'm feeling good self-care day it's working out for you girl let's go trip um i didn't pick up anything but there were examples of the type of shoe that i'm looking for in there they just didn't have my size and ironically enough both of them were women's shoes but the first one in that like deep red color that would have been perfect i love like the like it was like a pointed square toe if that makes sense super cute 
the shape was on trend the color was on trend they were slightly worn they would have been great for what i was looking for and then there was a cute like cream loafer in there as well and while i was in there i also looked at their jewelry didn't find anything as far as vintage jewelry goes and i looked at vintage belts now the vintage belt section was much like the shoe section being as there were items that i definitely would pick up and wear however they were a little bit too small like for my wrist or the rings were a little bit too um, small for my hands uh, so I am going to pop into one more store. It is about um, 3.05 right now. So I have about 30 minutes before I have to be back at home to get Zeke off of the bus. So I'm going to pop over into Goodwill. Again, I'm looking for vintage accessories. So vintage jewelry, any brooches, um, vintage belts, vintage shoes. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to find anything in this thrift store. So part of me is like, should I even go? Yeah, I don't know. Because I, like I feel like I might be sucked into purchasing clothing items that I don't need. If I was to go into the Goodwill. Because their items are just normally not stocked. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and head back to the house. Um park close to the bus stop and just kind of edit some of the footage that I have for this video. I've had a couple of calls come in while I've been on my self-care day. Of course, I have ignored them because maybe I should be on Do Not Disturb. But anywho, I'll return some calls and then I will pick you guys up a little bit later once I get my son off the bus and show you guys what self-care looks like when you're in the midst of mommy mode and wife mode but anywho i'll pick you guys back up in a minute mm. welcome thank you say what can get fresh for you um may i get an m m shake may i also get the um hold on one second ma'am Ahead, May I get the cookies and cream Oreo shake and an M&M shake, please? Yes, ma'am. Anything else for you? No, that'll be all. Okay, 529. Thank you. Child, she got a little snip snip, didn't she? It was like, okay, okay, let's control this situation and not respond and match our energy. But anywho, I was on my way to the house and I was like, oh, the sun is shining. It's such a beautiful day. I want like an ice cream cone or milkshake or something like that. So I pulled up at Steak and Shake. I called my husband before we went because he loves milkshakes. And so I got him an M&M milkshake and I picked up a cookies and cream milkshake. And I am super excited to indulge. Um, I'll have to run his into the house for him and then come back out to get um, to get my son from the bus. But super excited. Yay me. Another, hey girl, like what, what, what you want today? What you want today? And I was watching G's vlog and she was talking about how she went past like a uh, park or she was at the park and the swing spoke to her inner child so she got on the swing and she was swinging and I felt the same way <laughs> with the sun being out my inner child was like "Ooh, take us to get some ice cream so yeah that is what I am doing and I feel good good about it
I'm good. Don't call out on them. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no, she don't want to go there. Thank you. You too. Baby. They was cutting up in there. Like, I don't know how much of the commentary y'all heard. But the manager was like, I guess, like, something happened. And she was, like, giving the customer in front of me, like, for, you know, their inconvenience, um, like, a free fry or something like that. And I guess one of the other workers found issue with her doing that. So she was like, girl, I got money, da, 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 da. Like I could pay for, you know, a small fry or whatever the case may be. So that was like going back and forth. And she was like, y'all better be glad I ain't call in on y'all. <laughs> so that's when y'all heard me say, oh girl, don't call in on them. Don't call in on them. It is a fool. But anywho, Oh my God, y'all. So when she told me the total, I was like, that must be wrong because that's so cheap. But little did I know, so it's 319. I didn't know that it was happy hour. So the shakes are regular size shakes. They're 499 each, which makes sense. But when she told me my total, she was like, it's gonna be 529. And I was like, 529, that's very inexpensive. So Steak and Shake Happy Hour, I guess, it's like two for one, um, buy one, get one. I'm not sure, but I am excited, girl, again. Thank you, Lord. It's, everything's coming up me today. My food was delicious, and I didn't find anything in Revive, but that just means the good, good Lord said, girl, you don't need not a thing, not a thing. But anywho, here is my milkshake. Again, I got the cookies and cream and this one is my husband's he got the M&M so yes ma'am I'm about to start on this right now oh I wish I would never committed to going all the way upstairs to give him his shake and I could have just sat in the car and enjoyed mine but you know wife life I supposed to be doing something for me only, but I, I looked out for him. And and with me looking out, I got the buy one get one, so we good. Anywho, let me run his shake upstairs. This is my favorite bite with the cherry in it. Mm. So good. And why they gotta tease us and put like one cherry like i know the saying a cherry on top but can we get a cherry throughout i'm just saying mm. hi i'm good hi you went outside today did you Drink out the straw. Wow. Because the spoon will be messy. What do you think? You like it? Mm -hmm. It's good. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It's I the skipped worst you. Man. Okay, he skipped you. My turn. Skip me. <laughs> yeah, Go see. Hold Another. On. Yes, he skipped how, you. How he look? I put this two down there. 
Right. And I drew because I didn't have a yellow. Okay, you drew. Then it was Zeke's turn. He skipped you. Okay. I just drew again because I didn't have it. Now Zeke turned again and he skipped Skip. your butt again. All right. <laughs> hey, go. What's that? Yeah. Okay. Come back from what? I mean, just go back. <laughs> You could, you know, it just depends. Come on, Daddy. Bro, let me, I, you see how many cards I got? Give me how some. many? Come to use the potty. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, you do. No, you I want to see. pause it. Reverse, your turn, Z. Exactly. Oh, Mama. Right. Mama's in a little. Don't be too excited. Okay, okay, now I'm scared. She has one of those fools in uh -oh, there. Zeke, draw two. What you telling me? <laughs> draw two, Pooks. Please draw two, sir. All right. I draw 100. Okay, go. Do I go? Daddy's turn. Okay, oh, I see one right there. Like, you have a blue. I didn't say I do. <laughs> okay, I got one, too. What is that, a six, nine? Six. I just want to touch it. Uh, is that a six? Yeah. Booyah. All right. Very nice. I like that. That was a good move by you. Ooh. Oh, no. Mm. Nice. Oodle out. Ooh. Ooh. So 
if you are feeling much like I was feeling very overwhelmed and very anxious, remember to check out BetterHelp. All the information will be linked in the description bar down below. And just slow down a little bit, figure out what you need and do just that. If you guys enjoyed this week's video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. And if you enjoyed my vibe, think about hitting that subscribe button before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.